In today's video, expect some silliness and no, this is not a camera. Hey guys, two things has happened recently. YouTube has announced that they're going to monetize shorts. And by shorts, I don't mean pieces of garment, I mean the short format videos that they've been, well, pushing to everyone for the last year. The second thing was the email from Hohem, uh, a company behind a couple of gimbals I reviewed earlier. You can check one of the videos in the corner. And they released a new product which kind of aims towards shooting shorts and vertical format video in particular. And I'm useless when it comes to vertical format videos because, well, in theory, I do have a TikTok account, but it's all about fashion and teenagers dancing and none of that actually interests me. So here I found myself with this. This is Hohem Go and, well, it's a sophisticated holder for your phone which tracks your face. And since next year everyone's gonna be jumping on the shorts bandwagon to earn that sweet advertising revenue, I guess it's time for me to practice. So in this video I'm going to do two things. We're going to talk obviously about the Hohem Go and we'll try to make a short. It's not going to be my first short video because somehow YouTube classified a couple of previous videos as short, so I'm no longer a short virgin. The idea behind Hohem Go is quite simple. There is a vice that holds your phone or tablet, um, either horizontal or vertical, depending on what kind of content would you like to uh, create, and the camera in front that has face tracking enabled, which means the gimbal will spin around and try to locate you. That means that your phone camera will always face the right direction for video zoom calls and meetings and for content creation if that's what you enter. The device is as simple as it gets. It has a simple button to turn it on and off and two gestures to start face tracking and to stop face tracking. Just note that your face has to be present for gestures to work. The battery wise it lasts around 7 hours, which is plenty for even the longest live streams. I suspect you're gonna run out of battery before this thing does. And the clamping mechanism is pretty straightforward. Put your phone inside, clamp it to a light tension and the phone's gonna stay in a position you left it off. Unlike with YouTube Shorts, you're actually not restricted to a phone orientation, so you can actually use it in a horizontal or vertical position. I've tried that with the tablet and the tablet was okay, however, once I flipped it vertically and positioned myself quite low, it tipped over. It's not that the motors weren't strong enough to carry all that uh, uh, tablet weight, it's just the uh, uh, center of mass uh, caused the entire structure to tip over, so if you're going to use it with something massive, use the quarter inch screw which is at the bottom of the Hohem Go to provide a little bit more stabilization. Speaking of operations, it's super quiet so you can't hear it rotating which is very important because you probably want to record some audio and it can rotate 360 degrees around and about 15 uh, degrees down and 15 degrees up which is mostly enough. For the best experience you will have to be at least half a meter away from it up to approximately four to five meters so it really depends on what you... But one of the things that they didn't really advertise on the website is the fact that you could use this product with the camera facing opposite direction. And you might be thinking, why would you even do that? Well, if you can trust AI to keep you in the frame, then you can use a much better camera. So you're no longer restricted to a selfie cam, providing this is not a meeting and you don't have to observe what is happening on the screen. During my use, I've come across some issues. First of all, it is not a connected device, so there is no app to control it, which means it's very simple to use, but at the same time, there is no really any settings that you can apply to this device. There are no ways to uh, define an offset or smoothness of the motion and how fast it's gonna track you, which means you'll have to live with the default settings. Now, I've reached out to Hohem asking whether the app would be released for something like this, but in their reply back, they said not at the moment, which pretty much means maybe, I don't know. I think the inclusion of the app would help because from time to time, the movement might seem jerky, especially if you're closer to the camera where the camera is trying to keep your face in the center. The same applies for shooting video when you're being very close. 
you have to remember that the selfie camera, if you're using selfie camera, and the camera of the gimbal aren't in the same position, which means the pivot will affect where in a frame your face is going to be located. This unfortunately can lead in a situation where at specific angles your face can be cut out and left outside of the frame. Now it's not really a case when you are a meter away from the um, Hohem Go, but for close-ups, unfortunately it happens. But I've promised you a short, so let's make one and I'll take you to behind the scenes of making content at Not Enough Tech. Obviously the star of the show is gonna be that, but the rest it's up to me. And I have this fancy tool set that I could make a good video, so let's try that. But first, we need a plan. I mean, it's my first short, I probably shouldn't be using this hoodie, I need something spectacular. And nothing says that you're serious and you know what you're talking about, like a lab coat and a pair of goggles. Well, I mean, my intro is pretty good, right? What else I could do with this? Hey, that sounds neat. And obviously we have to make money out of it. Maybe not this year, but next year when the shorts go big and this content turns viral. Well, not this particular video, but the short that I'm going to create with the gimbal. Hello and welcome to this review sponsored by Hohan. On the first layer we have two spatulas and three... On the first layer we have... On the first layer we have two... Bits of stuff. That's recording. That's That's a dream of every engineer. All right, see you next time. I'm shooting this section without knowing how the final content actually turned out just yet. I'm going to leave it as a surprise. And I guess we're gonna both find out what you think about the content made with the Hohem Go and whether you liked it at all. But the bottom line is the device is available and the link is in the description. So if you fancy making some, I don't know, TikTok videos, influencer content or just put a nerf gun on it and shoot at everything that moves in front of it then an option is always there. As for now guys big thanks to Hohem for sending me a review unit so I could talk about it to you and be quite silly with it and if you want to know what next then hey I do not have a posting schedule uh, there are a couple of links included on the screen right now for my social media if you'd like to start a conversation. And for the most part, you know how YouTube works, so I'm not going to explain any of that. You will know how to find it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.